This video will show you how to download your code from the MakeCode editor into the LEGO EV3 brick using Bluetooth. For all the information about Bluetooth, go to the makecode.mindstorms.com slash Bluetooth. At the moment this video is written, this feature requires some experimental features in the browser. Let's take a look at what you need to do to get those started. First, make sure you're running a recent version of Chrome or Edge Insider. To do that, go into the hamburger menu, Help About, and you will be able to check the version of your browser. In this case, I'm running 77, which is the minimum version required for Bluetooth. Next step is to turn on an experimental flag. This is required when we're recording a movie. It might not be required in the future. I'm going to copy this link and paste it in new tab. Now you can see that this feature is enabled already, and it is called Experimental Web Platform Feature. This is an experimental feature. You decide whether you want to use it. Next step is to pair your brick with the uh, computer. This is the same way you would pair your brick uh, to use a uh, lab view. Since the feature is pretty new, we're going to use the beta version of the editor. You can see there's beta here. So let's go and click on the link. It'll look just like the editor, but it has support for Bluetooth. Let me open a little program I wrote a few seconds ago. It makes the robot spin. You're going to see. So if you look at the block, you can see there's going to do a tank movement between large motor B and C, one going forward, the other going backwards. Now, let's try to get that program onto my brick. I'm going to turn on the camera and hide the simulator to see the brick. So this is the brick, and I've made sure to uh, turn on, let's see, get a good angle. Nope, there we go. Um, so if you go into the settings and you do Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on, and then go into your uh, computer settings and make sure it's paired with your computer. Now, when you traditionally download and make code, you click the download button. It's going to show you a dialog, and then you're going to have to drag and drop the file. Now, there is a new button here because I've enabled the experimental feature. And it's called Bluetooth. So let's take a look and click on that. The first time you click on the button, it's going to tell you what to do, which is going to pick the right port in the port selection dialog. Now, in general, these port dialogs are going to be called standard serial over Bluetooth link. And there might be multiple of them. You'll have to be lucky. So let's try that. As you can see, I have the dialog here. And I've connected two robots in the past. So I'm going to try the first one. Now we've connected to the brick and we're ready to download the code. The only thing we have to do now is to click download again. It takes a few seconds, but as you can see, the code was sent to the brick. When you want to download the Code again, make sure to stop the program. Program stopped. And click download again. If you forget to click download, we'll show you a little dialog that tells you that something went wrong. Other possible ways it went, goes wrong, your battery is getting low. We're unable to talk to the robot. In which case, I forgot to stop the program. I'm going to go stop it and try again. That's it. 